Good, good morning all. Here's, uh, it, it's easier if I, if I make a video rather than, rather than typing it out because I've got this on the back of my hand and it makes it, it makes it di di difficult to, to, to type out. Uh, I started, to feel, yeah, a lot of people have asked me what's happened, and so I'll tell you. I started to feel unwell on sa sa Saturday morning. Uh, um, not not something I can tell you exactly why I felt unwell. I just I just didn't feel too good. Um, I'm uh, sorry about me shaving. Um, I will sort that out. It's just well, I I'll, I'll come to that in a minute. So anyway, I just, I I started to feel unwell. Not not something I can quantify. But I'll tell you exactly why I started. Just I so started to feel unwell. I just started to feel unwell. Um. I uh, I had some clues in the fact that whenever I did anything that involved any sort of exertion, um, I, I would break out in, 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 into a sweat. I mean, we we had Harry, my grandson, over on Saturday, helping help helping us do the garden, and just just walking from the back door to the bottom of the garden would would bring me out in a sweat. So I should have. I should have spotted at that point that, that there was something wrong, um, but I didn't. Anyway, we, Sunday, I felt even worse, and I could hardly move. I spent most of the day just sitting down in in, in chairs. Monday morning, I did actually feel a, a little bit better, but then in the, in 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 the afternoon, I uh, I suddenly got a pain in my side, and I I actually thought I'd pulled a muscle. So I slapped a bit of Voltro on it and thought, that's okay, that'll be fine. Um, that'll, that'll kick in and, and I'll be fine. But, but it didn't. I can only describe it as the worst pain that I've... The worst stitch, not the worst pain. It's not the worst pain. The worst stitch that I've ever had. It is exactly the same pain as a stitch and it's exactly the same place. But it, it just felt like... Oh, like the worst stitch I'd ever had, but I, I took some, I took some cocoa um, and that that just seemed to take the edge off of it. So I thought <laughs> it's still it's still a it's, it's still a pulled muscle. Um, I, I'm not too worried about it. And then I took Sean to work at at, at nine o'clock that night, and in the car on the way to work, this pain hit me with a vengeance. I mean. It actually felt like somebody was trying to drive, drive, drive a stake through my ribs. Um, it really hurt, and uh, even if Sean, Sean was a bit concerned. Uh, so, so uh, she said she, she didn't want to pick it up in the morning. So <clears throat> I was, I was, she, she was going to get a bus, uh, and I came home and I remember posting on Facebook and saying. I'll just take a couple of painkillers and have an early night and that'll sort it out. I took the painkillers when I got home. I laid down in bed and instantly jumped up screaming in agony. The pain in my side had got uh, about 10 times worse. And I was pouring with sweat and I, I was as white as a sheet. I, I've got a telephone number, an emergency cancer helpline telephone number for... for for out of hours emergencies, I, I called them. I described my symptoms to him, and, and he told me to put the phone down and call an ambulance. So I, I called an ambulance, um, and I told Sean, and she came home from work, and she arrived shortly before the ambulance, and she took one look at me and knew that I wasn't <coughs> wasn't too good. Oh, 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 this pain in my side. Oh, it's it's it's. Oh, it's it's changed. It used to be constant, but now it just comes in waves. Oh, oh. Anyway, I called the ambulance. They did all the checks and said, yep, hospital. Um, I arrived in hospital uh, uh, oh, 11.30 that night, and the first thing I did was stick a thermometer up my bum, um, <laughs> which, I mean, <laughs> there are times when when, yeah, yeah, let's not go there. Um, but 
and because my temperature was low, it was apparently 34.9. Um, and uh, they needed to constantly monitor it. Um, but eventually my temperature stabilised and they forgot to remove it. And uh, I was, oh, I didn't care about this time. So um, they started giving me fluids, but they, they ran a battery of tests. They did blood tests. They did urine tests um, and, and they did an x-ray uh, and they came back and they said they think it's a chest, ch ch chest, chest infection. Uh, uh, my oxygen, by the way, had also fallen to 88%. I couldn't maintain anything over 88% without assistance. I'm, I'm, I'm oxygen now. I'm, I'm back to no, 95% O2. <clears throat> but I can only maintain that with five litres a minute of oh, oxygen. Um, so I ran all these tests and uh, they took us into Tuesday morning and they still weren't sure. They suspected it could either be a chest infection or, or a kidney problem. Um, and the consultant came round and said, no, it's, it's, it's not a kidney problem, it's a chest infection. And since then, they've been pumping me full of intravenous uh, antibiotics, you can see up there. Um, can you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> pumping me full of this shit. Um, and I've been doing that ever since then. And they took me for another CT scan. And uh, they said it was still a chest infection. Right up until late last night when the consultant came in and said, it's not a chest infection, it's pneumonia. Um, I, I've got pneumonia again. I, I don't believe this. I caught pneumonia in 2019. Those of you that know what happened when I caught pneumonia in January 2019, it took me the whole the whole fucking year to get over it and and left me crippled, needing a wheelchair. And and I called 2019 my year of hell. And here we are again. I've got, I've got, I've got pneumonia again. And he, he, if I'm honest, he, I'm not going to get depressed over this. I'm, I'm just not going to get depressed over this. Um, that's not me, but... It's actually soul destroying to know that, that I spent a whole year getting better, and then, and then he's 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 back. As you can hear, I'm having severe difficulties even talking. Uh, but I, I just thought I I just thought it would be easier to just to give you an update. Um, and I'll give you an update later. Uh, hopefully by that time I will have had a shave, cleaned my teeth. And, and smart myself up a bit because I look like some sort of scummy street person. Sorry about that. But like I say, when you're, when you're writhing in pain, sort of sweating badly, um, waiting for an ambulance, you really don't think about packing a razor. I mean, that's just, that's the, oh, oh, that's the, oh, this pain. Oh, that's the last thing you think about. Anyway, um, just, just, this, this, just, just, just to let you know how I am. So, so, um, I'm just gonna carry on, carry on, carrying on. I'll speak to you. I'll speak to you later. Bye.